Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 26th of 2019. Well, it is titled NGC 2170 Angel Nebula Still Life. So what do we see here? Well, here is a cosmic painting, not a literal painting, a photograph, an image of what is known as the Angel Nebula. Now the Angel Nebula is not just a single type of nebula, but like many star forming regions actually is composed of many other uh, different types of nebulae. So we see, for example, reflection nebulae, the blue color around some of the bright hot stars, which is dusty material reflecting the light from those stars. And it looks blue for a couple of reasons. First of all, those uh, stars are emitting primarily blue light, but also the dust particles are much better at scattering the blue light. Blue light ends up uh, being scattered around by the dust particles and red light passes through better. So we tend to see them as blue. So we see that those types of nebulae around some of the brighter stars here. We also see emission nebulae. Emission nebulae in red is glowing hydrogen gas. Now most of what we see in astronomy and we look out at stars and galaxies is all hydrogen. 90% 90, 90 of the atoms in the universe are hydrogen atoms. So when we look at something, for example, stars, galaxies, they're mostly made up of hydrogen. Even within our own solar system, except for the solid rocky planets, most of the objects, the large planets and the sun are primarily made up of hydrogen. So hydrogen when it glows is gives off a red color. So when it's excited by these hot stars, it glows in a red color. And we also see dark dusty nebulae here. So some of the dark dusty areas towards the center of this frame. Well, they are dusty areas, areas where there is a higher concentration of material, and therefore light from behind is blocked out. So they are not an absence of material, but the presence of extra material in there that is blocking out the light from behind these and not allowing us to be able to see through it. So here we have, again, a very nice star forming region, which can come across as a painting. Although as noted in the description, the canvas for this painting at the estimated distance for this uh, cloud would be 60 light years across. So quite an immense painting um, and an astronomical one in more than one way. So that was our picture of the day for August the 26th of 2019. It was titled NGC 2170 Angel Nebula Still Life. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Antares Orange. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.